Okay, welcome back everybody. This might be our last day of Lantern Rite because time-wise it is literally the last day of Lantern Rite. Yeah, um, and I'm really hoping to get through with the main quest today. I don't know how much longer I have in it, so I don't know if that will be possible. But I'm going to do as much as I can. Actually, wait, I do want to check out... What do I get for doing this? Hopefully I get a good amount of stuff because I'm really worried about spoilers. I realized there's still one more quest in the advised quest chain. Yeah, that one. I have no idea what one that is or when I will get to it. So... I might still get spoiled for something doing this, but hopefully it's not too much or too bad. May I have the table number of your reservation? Can I get food to go? I see. Ooh, I can get recipes! Oh, that's I. They're rather expensive. And it's only three stars. I'll think about it. I'm just gonna go in for now. Oh! You're here early! I just ordered. The food should be out in a second. Uh, sit down, sit down. Let's all take a seat! Are you going to actually sit, Paimon? Here, hand me your cuffs. We should get her like a booster, so she can see over the table. Oh, thank you! Oh, oh my god, he served us? That's very kind of you. What is that doubtful Wait, uh, look? Uh, you weren't supposed to drink that, Paimon. Oh no. That was for you to rinse your utensils. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god. That's what that's what was with the doubtful look. Oh my goodness. Wow, oh. so much delicious food. Do you really eat all this just for breakfast? <laughs> that's just how we do it where I'm from. Most of the time though, I don't eat lunch after dim sum. Oh, that's good to hear. Paimon doesn't need to worry about holding back then. Eat, eat. If it's not enough, we can always order more. Oh, and there's tong soy coming as well. I don't usually have that in the morning, but, well, since everyone's here, I just had to order it. What about you, Traveler? Is the food to your liking? Uh, want some more seafood kanji? Let me refill your bowl. Oh my goodness. He's so... Oh my god. That would be great, thanks. Paimon's gonna take you up on that. Fill it up nice and full and make sure she gets a few extra shrimp. Thanks! Oh my gosh. He's serving us. That's... I'm touched. I'm honestly touched. We are feasting well today. We slowly start to relax as you enjoy pleasant conversation over a satisfying meal. This goes on until even Paimon can't eat another bite. <sighs> She's so been defeated. Full. That meal was so satisfying, it even gave Paimon some extra brain juice. Wow, she regenerated a brain cell. Oh, incredible. Listen, listen. Paimon's figured it out. And look, she's not sitting. What did you figure Let's out, Paimon? Let's think about this for a second, Gumming. You invited us to this awesome restaurant and ordered a whole table full of expensive dim sum just for the three of us. Well, you must be hiding the fact that you're some young master from a rich family. Oh, I don't know. That would explain why you try to keep your friends and family away from each other. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Are you confusing me with Xingqiu? Ah, I knew it. He's totally, he's totally like the young master of that trading company, right? He just dresses so fancily, and it seems like he's always going off somewhere. Anyway, we'll see. Huh? You know Xingqiu? You sure know a lot of people. And we know him too now. He's part of the party. Hmm. Well, when you're on the road as much as I am, you hear all sorts of rumors. Sometimes they're true, sometimes they're not. What it comes down to is being able to tell the difference. More often than not, that means knocking on some doors to find out for yourself. Oh, you truly are a man of many talents, young Master Gaming. I like that. It seems like he doesn't listen to gossip, and if he must, then he'll verify it himself, you know? Okay, okay, enough with the teasing. <laughs> Sorry to burst your bubble, Paimon, but you're wrong about my family situation. What? Oh, here we go. Oh, Paimon thought she was onto something there. About to get serious. My dad is just an ordinary tea merchant. Small-scale stuff, you know? It wouldn't even make sense to mention his business in the same breath as the Feiyun Commerce Guild. My dad... He always wanted me to inherit the family business. To be a merchant like him. 
But that's just not who I am. That's not who I ever wanted to be. Kaming always seems so happy and carefree. This is the most serious I've ever seen him. This topic must be very important to him. Have you ever talked to him about it? You know, about your interests and aspirations and stuff. Of course I have. I, I told him I wanted to be a wushou dancer. That I wanted all of Tavat to see what I could do. According to my dad, though, that wasn't a real job. Oh, boy. Just a child's pipe dream. Ouch. Oh, that's terrible! I'm sure he thought I would come around eventually, but... Wushou dancing has always been the only thing I wanted to do. He's very driven. One day, he tried to get me to visit some other tea merchants to start building the right relationships, but... I refused to go. We got into a huge fight. We, we were this close to throwing hands. Oh, wow. In the end, I was so angry that I... I ran away from home. I haven't been back since. Wow. Uh, don't get on my case just yet, okay? It, it's not like I think I'm completely without fault. No. I know that it wasn't the right way to go about things. Sounds like he's been going through a difficult time. But my dad's stubborn. No matter how hard I tried to convince him, it just went in one ear and out the other. There was no changing his mind. I knew talking would only get me so far, but... If I made it big in Liyue Harbor, the results could speak for themselves. Coming. But I'm sure you both already know how that's going. Wusho dancing's just not that big in Liyue Harbor. I'm suddenly feeling very determined. We gotta in the make past, it. I would go make door to door back. from store to store, asking if they would be interested in hiring a performer. Most times, I wound up eating nothing but humble pie. And you Ouch. can't just rely on dreams to put food on the table, right? So, I found a job as a guard to make some money. And now I have enough to get by and then some. It's very responsible. Still, change takes time. Gotta take it slow, you know? I'm an oh, he sounds so sad. Okay, enough of all that serious talk. Our tea's getting cold. Ooh, let's do something fun this afternoon. What do you say, huh? I'll organize. Actually, we kind of already have plans this afternoon. Do we now? We told Xian Yun that we would go to her kite-making oh, right. workshop. Oh? You can come. Are you interested in kite-making, Gaming? Oh, no. It's just that I happen to know Auntie Xian Yun. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Auntie Xian Yun. No way to address a mighty and illuminated adeptus. I'm, no, I mean, if that's the way that they are. title certainly humanizes her a bit. Oh, I'm not I going know that she's spoil an her. Yeah, there we I go. I met her during a delivery once. But hasn't she been in the city lately? She's even tried, with some limited success, to change her terms of self-address or something like that. She came to see me a few days ago to ask about luminescent dice. Oh, wait a second. She doesn't plan on putting those on a kite, does she? Why, is it going to catch on fire? Is that not something you can do? It's one thing to use it on cloth, but applying it to paper is another matter entirely. Why couldn't she tell me what she wanted them for? Yeah, oh. she does seem to have trouble with that sometimes. So either we're going to carry the message or he's going to have to come with. It would be such a shame if everyone worked so hard on their kites only for them to get ruined in the end. Okay, I'll go with you. Yay! If Auntie Xian Yun wants to use those dyes in a kite, the formula will need to be changed. Great! The more the merrier! I think this is the first part two started. How many parts do you think it has? I feel like I'm sensing four. I don't know. Um, I feel like this is the first quest that we've had that is a little bit more of a serious note. Um, if you have a reservation, I will... Okay, we're good. We'll just head out. Because, of course, the other... How do I leave this place? Oh, that's the door? There we go. Um, the other ones we've had, of course, we've had, you know, we saved an entire city. But that was kind of a fantasy type plot, you know, dragon attack. Yikes, scary. This is so much more personal. It feels a lot heavier. So I'm all the more determined to make sure it has a happy ending. Oh, I hope I can finish this quest in time. Oh, teleporter in the way. All right, where are we going? That way. Oh, this is the place where we found all those recipes. Oh, those cart pearls would be very helpful right now, wouldn't they? Okay, over there. Yeah, the recipes and the little lake with the seating area. Yes. 
Oh, there's people down there. I don't know these people. Oh, I'm gonna get a little bit spoiled. You know what? It's okay. I'll survive. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I was gonna do a dramatic drop. Ganyu! Oh, she's tired! Ganyu! Ganyu! Come on, wake up! Some friends have arrived! Hello! Yao Yao? The youngest disciple of Street Ward Rambler. I don't know what that is, but we've heard her mentioned before. She told someone about someone or something. Anyway. Hello, friends. Good morning. Oh, you should rest. <sighs> we'll take care of everything. Can uh, you? Oh, I have some mint oil. Perhaps we should try that. Do you have a headache or something? Shenha. Um, exorcists. She came into Cloud of Tanner's care, becoming a disciple of the Adepti. Oh, very cool. Interesting. A guest at Wanmin Restaurant recommended it to me. I've tried it. Its stimulative effects are much stronger than what can be achieved from chewing on mint leaves alone. <sighs> hmm. He's so tired. Apologies in advance. Oh, don't slap her. Don't do it. Wait! Shen, huh? Not there! Oh no. She takes out a small green bottle, takes some mint oil, and applies it to her horns. Oh no. What are we doing here? <laughs> Look at her face! I'm like... See? It worked. She's awake. Did she just put basically, like, the equivalent of caffeine straight into her brain? Oh no. Uh, are you okay, Ganyu? Do you need some water? Or or maybe something to eat? Wow, the animation on her is so detailed. The things in her bag are shifting around as she speaks. I, I'm fine. I just feel chilly all over. <sighs> oh dear. Huh. Was it that effective? Chilly, huh? Mm. A master always says, a cool head leads to a calm heart. So, does this mean that heat's what we need to help you, Ganyu? I mean, if someone's cold, yeah, they need some warmth. Uh, Pilot doesn't think that's what the expression means exactly. Right, yeah, that has nothing to do with the expression, but I do think we should light a <sighs> fire or something. <laughs> I... I feel a bit better now. Oh, she's recovering. Was I asleep? Must have been around the time I usually take my midday nap. Did you not sleep last night? That does seem to happen to you often. Hmm. Perhaps you should come work at Wanmin Restaurant with me. Oh. We get off at ten on the restaurant. dot every night without fail. I I could never. Oh yeah, doesn't she have this like secretary position that she's had for a couple thousand I'm years? Sorry, I seem to have missed your name. You are uh, Oh, Gaming. <laughs> I'm like, we <"We've laughs> definitely met. My name is Gaming. I work as a guard for the Secure Transport Agency. Gaming. The name sounds familiar. I believe I've heard your name mentioned around the Ministry of Civil Affairs. All good things, one hopes. People tell me you're an extremely enthusiastic worker, and you are very generous with your help. Sounds accurate. Uh, well, you know me. <laughs> or, uh, I guess you don't. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Ganyu. This is Shenha, and this is Yao Yao. Hello. It's an honor to finally meet you all. Oh, you must be here for Auntie Xian Yun's kite-making workshop, right? <laughs> I want to see their reactions yes. to the name. I have neither made nor flown a kite before. As no long reaction. as Master is willing to wow. teach, I am willing to learn. Me too! I want to participate in the kite-flying competition with my best friend! Aww. Plus, it's Who's more your best meaningful friend? if you make the kite yourself, right? Your best friend didn't come with you? Well... Chi Chi's been super busy Chi -Chi. helping Dr. Baiju lately. Aww, they're I'll friends. meet up with her later and give That's her a huge cute. surprise. Oh, I also brought bandages and ointment with me today. It's easy to cut yourself when working with bamboo, so I thought I should come prepared. Is she a healing character? Wow, you're really That's thoughtful. That's really detailed. Yeah. As for myself, I'm afraid I lack some of my companion's enthusiasm. I was originally planning to buy a ready-made kite and just enjoy the festive city atmosphere with everyone. But Cloud Retainer is always going out of her way to look after her juniors, wanting us to have the best there is. She always puts us before herself. 
Oh, oh he empathizes. Well, kind of. It was so One gets the feeling that he respects her. To arrange this workshop, so I simply couldn't let such consideration go to waste. My motivation for being here might be a little different, yes. But I'm ready to put in just as much effort as everyone else. Well, we're all here. But where the heck is Xin Yun? Shouldn't she be here by now? Who is it that speaks of oneself in such an ill-tempered <laughs> tone? It's Paimon. Oh, come on, you Paimon gets a pass. <laughs> Master stopped to buy grilled tiger fish to share with everyone. Come get it while it's still warm. Oh, Paimon, sorry, Miss Illuminated Bird. <laughs> you really think you were the smartest, coolest, and prettiest adeptus. Oh my Someone God. as wonderful as you is sure to have brought enough for Paimon as well, right? Look at her eyes. I'm just half expecting her to just start drooling. <laughs> <laughs> she has her eyes on the prize. Okay. We start chatting. The <gasps> fish is shared. So delicious. Paimon's life is complete. You say that after every meal. Hmm. It appears that we've ended up with quite a few participants indeed. Go ahead and divide yourselves into small groups. The materials are over here. The regular dyes and luminescent ones have been clearly marked. Use them as you see fit. As for how to make the kite, one assumes you all made sure to listen to the instructions one provided while we were eating. Yes? Are there any questions? Have we discussed the issue with the dyes yet? Paimon may have focused a little too hard on the eating and less on the listening. You can just help out, don't worry about Paimon it. Paimon knew she could count on you, traveler! <laughs> one will wait under this tree and avail oneself of the cool air while one digests. Do not hesitate to seek one's company if you have any trouble, questions, or simply want to chat. We're not in any so hurry to get started. Why don't we go see what the others are up to? Stealing design plans. I see. I see. Okay. Oh, did they team up? That's adorable. Okay. I want to kill this creature. Oh, but it ran away. Okay. Hello, Yao Yao. <laughs> Auntie Cloud Retainer, look! Am I doing it right? That is so cute. She lets the kids call her aunt. Hmm, very good. Your frame is nice and sturdy. This design, is it a finch? <laughs> yep. Oh, is that, a, is that the finch call? <laughs> Impressive. One is looking forward to seeing your finished product. What color are you going to make it, Yao Yao? Um... I haven't decided yet. If I make it blue, it'll be more like my friend. But if I make it gold, it'll be more like me. So you do blue and gold. That's if the answer If you are here. asking for one's own opinion, one would advise choosing gold. When giving a gift, the key consideration is the recipient's feelings, is it not? One imagines your friend would much prefer a kite that reminds them of you. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, hey, I never told you the kite was for Chi-Chi. How did you know? With age comes wisdom, child. One simply has a way of knowing things. Oh, cool. <laughs> Thanks, Auntie Cloud Retainer. In translation, she guessed. I'm gonna start painting <laughs> it gold right now. Good. One will watch. I think the blue and gold would be sweet. You two seem strangely unoccupied. <laughs> one was under the impression that one was supposed to be doing the relaxing. Is your kite finished? Not quite. Oh, we actually haven't started. Yet, but we're <laughs> going runs to start, away. Uh, right now. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Is that all that they have to say? I could choose Shen Yun. Once I get better at making kites. I'm going to make one shaped like you, Agwe. You gave him to me, and he's just the best. Oh, the bunny. She gave the bunny. Oh, wow. <laughs> one is pleased that you like the gift. Amazing. But that, that cutscene that we just went through, it was just like um, being told off by the teacher for not doing your work in class. That was the vibes. Very strong vibes. Hello. Hey, Kaming. Want to team up? Huh? But I have to participate? I thought I'd be done for the day after adjusting the dye formula. You're that unenthused by kite making, huh? That doesn't seem like you. Yeah. No, it's not that. It's just... Does it remind you of your family? Uh, it would take too long to explain. I guess I'll just make one then. 
You don't have to force yourself. Hmm. What shape should we go with? How about a butterfly? Oh dear. The butterfly symbolizes the desire for freedom. Perhaps that's also what Gaming's searching for. What do you think, Shuyu? Is there a particular design you want? I really I hope. Want a uh, we can resolve that. That might be a little hard to pull off. True, but I still want to try. They're super cute. <laughs> okay, it's decided then. Intriguing, intriguing. Let's Dang, see anything else. Can I do the coloring? <laughs> sure. I'll go ahead and make the frame for you. Adorable. What a team up. Oh, they're so cute. Look at their thinking poses. Wait. There we go. Adorable. Can I do anything over here? No. Very cool looking though. Oh my. I um, didn't even make it all the way over. Shenha. It would be great if you could refrain from putting things <laughs> on my horns from now on. They're really quite sensitive. I see. My apologies. I shall remember that in the future. I appreciate this very respe respectful exchange. Thank you. No harm done. Good. Could I touch them just once more, though? No <laughs> oil curious. or anything this time. I've just always wondered what Miss Ganyu's horns feel like. Huh? Please, I told you. Just call me Ganyu. <sighs> well, all right. Just be gentle. Now I'm curious. They look shiny, but I would expect them to be rougher. Firm like to bone. the touch with no discernible temperature. Oh, not unlike certain medicinal plants I've eaten before. Don't eat them! Oh, still, Ganyu appears to be shaking like a cat whose whiskers have just been touched. I should stop. Very kind looking out for her friend. Uh, oh, I see. Ganyu's probably like desperate then for her I'll thoughts now. Then apply the now. oil to your forehead next time. She seems very nervous. Oh, no need. I'll just refrain from taking afternoon naps outdoors. <coughs> Anyway, no, what we should was that? probably get started on our kite. Yeah, what was it that? It won't be long before Cloud Retainer comes to check on our progress. What just perhaps, happened? Perhaps we should just choose the most traditional style. Okay. She's like, yeah, sure, fine. Well, they seem to be getting along swimmingly. Let's not disturb them. No. Uh -huh. We should get started on our kite now. Let's go. Hooray. Okay. All right, time. Do I? Can I talk to them? I can talk to them the last time. The scissor-tailed swallow sure takes a lot of curved bamboo rods to build. Oh, it broke. Whoops. If you submerge the bamboo in water before you try to bend it, it will become more pliable. First, that's we all have I remember. To on the shape. Hey, what are you laughing at? Are we gonna make a Paimon-shaped one? I don't know if that's. <laughs> The obvious answer is to make a Paimon shaped kite. Oh, that's not a completely crazy idea. If nothing else, <laughs> she likes a Paimon shaped it. kite could at least make sure you never get lost on your travels and always find the tastiest food and funnest things to do wherever you go. Amazing. Truly a, a god of travelers. A fortune for travelers. Maybe we're not exercising enough artistic license. Ooh, we should exaggerate this a bit. How about this? The word Paimon means the guardian angel of travelers. <laughs> You've just decided this. I wonder what it actually means. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. That's actually well, incredible. That's what adorable. What expression should we give her? <laughs> since the kite is going to be flying super high in the sky. Ah, uh, she should look pleased with herself. She should look afraid. She should look guilty. I mean, I think it'd be really funny if she looked guilty, but I don't want to embarrass Paimon in front of an entire city. So maybe she just needs to look pleased with herself. Ooh, like this? Ooh! <laughs> the title of Champion Kite Flyer is mine! It's a great statement, but what's the expression that we need here? Um... Yep, that's the one. Let me rethink this. They're actually going to let me choose? Wait. Since the kite is going to be... What does the guilty one look like then? Oh, Paimon totally didn't do anything wrong. And even if she did, she doesn't deserve to get shot up into the sky for it. Something like this then. Yeah, I think it would be funny. Yep, now that's the we've one. Decided, let's make it happen. Oh, <laughs> Vega looks so happy. 
I just think, oh, she's flying up to paint it. I love that. Teamwork makes the dream work. <gasps> it's done! Paimon has to say. Kai Paimon might even rival real Paimon in terms of cuteness. Now we just have to attach the string, right? All right. Gather around, everyone. I love her hair. With the different color on the bottom. Oh, Quite the look. calling us! They're keeping the Paimon expression hidden until the time is right. I'm so curious what it looks like. Hmm. Let one take a look. She sure is looking. It's not letting me advance the dialogue yet. There we go. <laughs> wow! Wow! Ganyu and Shenha made a scissor-tailed swallow! It's so pretty. It is. Wow. Yep. The coloring makes it look a lot like Master. Oh, that's sweet. If the tail wasn't split in two like that, it might even be a spitting image. Uh, if you look closely, there are a few spots where the colors go outside the lines. Did you doze off while painting it, Oh my goodness, she's exhausted. I did the painting. <laughs> I stared at the paper for quite some time, but I simply could not recall the coloring of any bird. <laughs> Except Master. Or should I say that I'm too familiar with her crane form? Even when she stands before us in human form, all I can see is blue and white. That's sweet. She means a lot to her students, it oh. seems. Well, now that you mention it, Paimon can see it too! Exactly. So I simply closed my eyes and painted from memory. She has really interesting eyes. No way! You, you can paint with your eyes closed? Wow, the disciples of Adepti really are something. You are most filial, Shenhe. One is flattered by the likeness. The swanee that Gaoming and Shuyu made looks very majestic. I'm it sure it'll look even more impressive as it soars through the sky. It looks just like Gaoming's, um, thing from his attack. The eyes and ears glow in the dark, so you're sure to see it at night. Oh, wow. Your golden finch is cute too, Yao Yao. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> it's all thanks to Auntie Cloud Retainer's guidance. What about your kite, Traveler? <laughs> I want to know what everyone thinks. <laughs> the smug look. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted! That's exactly what I was picturing! <laughs> I love how they know exactly what their players want in this instance. <laughs> the shadow of, like, what would that be? Just the shadow of guilt passing over her. I love it. Very Paimon-like indeed. <laughs> She looks guilty because she ate all the food. That one time the traveler suspected that a piece of meat was missing from their bowl. That was the exact expression on your face. <laughs> exactly. Uh, <laughs> is that something that happened? So it was you. Oh, is that the expression right there? <laughs> That's the one. Is that the Jade Chamber? Ooh. The most popular kite of the year, oh. isn't it? This is very, uh... Reminiscent of the actual Jade Chamber falling. Hello. Oh, who dares attempt such a flagrant display of impropriety by releasing a kite into one's territory without one's permission? You think it was the other two Adepti? Oh, and to do so by making use of this crude piece of mortal machinery. Oh, one simply must know who it is that oh. possesses such impertinence. Oh, she became a bird. Continue attaching Bye. the strings, everyone. One will be but a moment. <laughs> Cloud Retainer? Traveler, Paimon, could I trouble you to go after Cloud Retainer? Master's going to be okay, right? She'll be fine. If anything, I'm worried about who she'll find. I'm more worried about the person who released the <laughs> Yeah, <code>. yeah. <laughs> There's wind up ahead! Looks like we can glide over! Hee <laughs> hee, four-star artifact, Paimon Kite! Gotta make sure not to lose or accidentally delete that or anything. Do, 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 do. Am I just naturally going to fall all the way down there? No. Do, 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 do. Hello, my friends. Going downwards. It's right there! What's right there? Oh, right there. <laughs> Whee! Hmm. It was then! This spontaneous device of mechanical motion is quite curious indeed. Now is hardly an opportune time for your musings. 
someone among us was not sufficiently attentive, and now the kite has vanished. These guys, their designs <laughs> compared to Xianyun's are rather, uh, they're a lot simpler than she looks. I kind of feel bad for them. Calm yourself. Do you have any recollection of its last location? One believes it drifted in the direction of Mount Outsong. But I guess because they're not playable characters, they just use some of the uh, NPC models for them. Perhaps it is mere happenstance, but one feels a certain sense of dread at the thought. <laughs> Your concern oh is misplaced, surely. Cloud Retainer is either in the city looking after her disciples, or secluded in her abode attending to her research. She will not notice that kite. One might be surprised. On the subject of said kite, however, one simply must remark on the genius of its windless lift technology. Oh no. One cannot help but surmise that its ingenuity rivals that of Cloud Retainer's creations. Oh, you've sealed your fates. You shouldn't have said that. Still thy tongue. Yeah. If Cloud Retainer were to hear you profess such a thing, we can both say farewell to any further use of the Supreme Cuisine Machine. The what now? One presumes <laughs> that this kite belongs to you. <laughs> she just snuck up on them. <gasps> oh, they're doomed. Regard the situation with which we are now confronted. <laughs> this is all your fault. That's a lengthy look you're giving him. One's fault. One seems to recall that releasing the kite was no solitary endeavor. They're communicating telepathically. Say I love something, it. Mountain Shaper. Just Surely looks you alone. can think of something <laughs> to appease her. The way he's like gesturing to her with his head. Further explanation shall that only look. fan the flames of her wrath. This is so it funny. It would be better to stay silent and retire at the earliest opportunity. We can hardly <laughs> avoid her forever. She's that just like listening in on this Lantern conversation. Night. But what about the Moon Chase Festival? Sooner or later, she will discover oh. our true identity. Right. I was going to say, she can follow this because she's known them for eternity too. You know, they've all known each other, so she probably can understand just as well. But she doesn't realize it's them yet. She hasn't seen their human forms. <sighs> Hello? <laughs> Go retrieve the kite. <laughs> Absolutely not. You retrieve it. <laughs> that is not our kite. Oh, so an adeptus such as oneself is mistaken then? Ah, uh, you're an adeptus? <laughs> Please forgive us for any impropriety. <laughs> oh my god. I truly possess no inkling of who could have released a kite into your esteemed domain. Pray, Is that a typo? who could be responsible for such wanton behavior? Verily, verily, we were but delighting in the surrounding scenery. <laughs> this locale is home to such exquisite... Uh, ah, mint! <laughs> this is the funniest thing I've ever seen out of this game. This is so funny. Well, just like, look at these and plants. if that's all, then we'll just be on our way. Huh. We finally caught up. Oh, but we know you who sure they do are. You fly fast in your illuminated bird form, Chinyin. Moon uh, carver? Oh, oh. Paimon's going to greet here? them, and Paimon did greet them. You? <laughs> she did it. Okay, she really now, did just say Paimon's that. Getting a weird vibe. Did oh say gosh. Wrong? It is of no consequence. Long has one seen <laughs> through their disguises. Oh, good. One was simply curious as to how long they would keep up the act. Then you are not angry? Hm. How could one feel anger at the sight of two old friends enjoying themselves? Oh, well, that's very one sweet. One is also well aware of how enticing these city novelties can be. Oh, that's nice, because she did just buy a whole bunch herself. I like this. I like this turnaround, actually. <sighs> we were actually. simply consumed by a fit of festive spirit. Seldom do we get the opportunity to partake in the delights of the times. However, we are far from being as adept as you in matters yeah. that require a no pun intended. Of hand. No worthy kite could be born of our own making. Thus, we could only take the convenient route, so to speak. Your prowess in mechanics is unparalleled, Cloud Retainer. You wield the wind and waves themselves. Your singular talent stands unmatched across the land. Of this, we are well aware. <sighs> Lots of praise now. One has guests to attend to. We will have to convene again some other time. Traveler, Paimon, do try to keep up. Oh, we have to fly all the way back. Oh, no. <laughs> We're leaving already? Oh, all this flying from place to place is wearing Paimon out. Yeah, I guess, because we can just glide, but she has to actually fly. But she does, you know, fly everywhere. You'd think she'd be accustomed to it. 
Hello. <sighs> it seems that one's concern was misplaced after all. Then should we continue flying the kite? A splendid suggestion, but it would be advisable to change locations. Indeed. Perhaps your mountain would suffice? It is more than spacious enough. <laughs> yeah, let's go to your mountain. A fine idea. A fine idea indeed. <laughs> How fun, you two. I'm guessing it's the same dialogue. Yeah. Then okay. A splendid. Perhaps you're okay. a fine idea. <laughs> Have fun, you two. Try not to lose it again. Ooh, fire flower. Hello. Dodge this. Okay. I'm supposed to go back. I'll just teleport back, I guess. No wind gusts this time. Aim over there. Yeah, actually, how many of those things do I have left? Um, oh, a little under a hundred. Okay. I'll have to do something with those sometimes. Ah, <gasps> Joculus! How have I not gotten that yet? Wait a second. Do I have it on the map? No. No. Navigate. Up. Okay, we're gonna get some Geoculi. There. Do we see it? I don't see it yet, so we'll just have to jump and trust. As they do in Mondstadt. Hopefully I have the height I need. Oh! Thank you! Wait. If I stay in that for longer... I've made a mistake. I have made a mis- Oh, there it is. Oh, it stopped. What? What is happening here? I'm losing the height. Okay, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it'll come back if I keep going. Please? Wait a minute. What if I jump from that thing up there? Is that what I'm supposed to do? What if I get back up there? Um... Oh, that's quite high up, isn't it? Hey, Jinxon. Oh, I haven't been in this area in a while. I forget how everything works. Okay. Aw, the statue's chiming at us. Yay. Wait, why don't I just go to this one? What am I doing? What am I thinking? Goodness me. Okay. Right there? Yes. I don't quite see it. <laughs> That's Amber, but not the Geoculus. Where did I see it before? Oh, I've totally lost it. Okay, okay. We were... Here-ish. Were we? Oh dear. No, we must have been over there. There it is. <laughs> Why didn't it show up while we were over there? Weren't we just over there? We were just up here. That's so bizarre. Hey, Seely. I need maximum height. For that distance as well. Um, over there. From there, perhaps? So that's the statue on that floaty bit. Would this be higher? That way? Because I see... Where's the statue? Down there. That way. See the statue. The geoclus should be right in front of us. Because those rocks with the, the orange crystal in them. Did we see that before? Maybe it's sideways. <laughs> so I can't see it. Wow, look at that down there on the left. What is happening over there? But there's like veins in the rock. How oh, have I not noticed that before? Where is it? I am quite perplexed at this point. 
Was it not in this direction? Oh! Well, there's one down there. I must have missed it before. Okay. Got it. Well, we got one. <laughs> so then, when I'm here... Look at that! Is it not real? Is something lying to me? I need to get taller. Um... Let's happen- let's see what happens if I just go from this direction and get closer. Oh, it's not that far over! I understand. Let's hope that they give us another wind gust, please! No, alright. Well, it's right above this tree. So... Oculus will immediately get this guy. Navigate. You should be taller even than the statue. Okay. It's that way then. Right above that tree. Oh, lost some height. That's all right. Where are you? Hideaway's over. Oh, this is Sealy below us. Hello, Sealy. Not even on the map yet. There you are, my friend. Wow, I have so many Sealy down there. Is that a ruin guard as well? Intriguing. What is that below us? I just saw for a second there. What is that? Oh, it's a sign. Oh, I see. I could have um, hit that with Animo and gone up. Well, I'm not currently Animo, so I don't mind that I didn't do that. Do you already have the Sealy? Yes. And I remember that there were Geoculi in every direction. But hopefully I've gotten some of them now. Okay, back to the main story that we're working on currently. Feeling to get- Ooh! <laughs> Oh, do I have that marked? I sure do, okay. Why are you falling, my dear? <laughs> if that is how you wish to do things, I shall simply have to comply. Hello, my friends, we're back. Oh, it's so beautiful. They're back. <gasps> my mind's pooped. Did everyone go to the city to fly their After kites? After you left, Yao Yao and Shu Yu tired themselves out playing with their kites. Gao Ming offered to escort them home. Before he left, he said something that I don't quite understand. Oh? What did he say? He said, A kite is always tied down no matter how far it flies or how high it soars. Its tether prevents it from ever truly flying free. Oh dear. He looked quite dejected as he said this. Oh dear. Now that you mention it, Gaming did seem to have a rather strange attitude towards kites. Perhaps he sees himself reflected in them. A reflection of himself? Oh, if I were a kite, I would cherish that tether as a symbol of kinship and the bonds that tie us and... Shenha? Oh... It may be an exceedingly slim and distant connection, but lose it, and you lose that which links you to home. She seems like she might have the opposite problem. Yet, yeah, didn't her introduction say that she came from a line of exorcists, but she came here to study for many years? So she probably feels quite disconnected from her family, and so she probably tries to hold on to whatever family she can find very tightly. If Gaming truly sees a kite as a yeah, reflection crap. of himself... <sighs> Then I fear I understand his words even less. Well, people often have different points of view depending on their mindset and experiences, right? It's actually quite normal. Just like some people can eat spicy food, but others won't go anywhere near it? <laughs> exactly. 
That's why tolerance and understanding are as important as they are. Uh, tolerance and understanding? What brought about this conversation? Did one miss something? We were just chatting. You don't have to butt in on every little thing. Come <gasps> on. Where were you anyway? Hmm. One was merely doing a bit of cooking. Oh, she keeps insulting her right before she offers her Night food. Night fast approaches. If you are otherwise unoccupied, one would entreat you to stay and eat before you depart. Oh, it's been so long since I've had the chance to enjoy your cooking, Cloud Retainer. When she says that, I wonder if maybe it's been many centuries. Uh, worry not. One has prepared a variety of meat and vegetable dishes. One is more than familiar with everyone's culinary proclivities. We'll take you up in your offer then. Shenhe, Ganyu, come with me. Whoa, what's with all the secrecy? You're not trying to play favorites, are you? Well, they are her students, so maybe she expects them to help if out. If you're ready to serve the food, we can help too. Intriguing. I want that crab. Where'd it go? My crabby friend, where are you? Oh no. Oh, there you are. Hello. <laughs> okay. Um, but besides that, let's stay focused. Oh, Paimon remembers. Doesn't that one of Deptus who loves food live here? Last time we had to offer tasty food. Paimon, isn't this Cloud Retainer's abode? Aren't you just talking about Cloud Retainer? One does not understand. <laughs> you wait outside the abode for a few moments. Yeah, it's Cloud Retainer's abode. This is... Oh, they got changed. Wow, those hair pieces are beautiful. All right, don't they have like special outfits available now or something? <laughs> it's got you blushing. I can feel the wind brushing against my legs. This is a bit embarrassing. Oh, they're getting like a full, like a uh, reveal. Is the headpiece secure? I should have asked Cloud Retainer to check before I stepped outside. I feel like I'm in a fashion show or something. <laughs> How do we look? <laughs> Striking a pose. Majestic. Huh? She asked them just like that? You look great. You look pretty too, Ganyu. Oh, how should Paimon put it? Uh... You both look so elegant and refined! Those outfits really suit you both! Given that one employed the services of the best tailor in uh, all look at of the Liyue, details. one would expect nothing less. Shenha's dress is gorgeous. Look at the threading there. And Ganyu is glowing. What colors have you been partial to lately, Shenha and Ganyu? <laughs> Why is Cloud Retainer suddenly asking about what colors we like? No reason. I like black. <laughs> one is gratified to see one's disciple has inherited one's own tastes. The Shenha's very straightforward. She'll just go for it and Ganyu overthinks a lot. The color black doesn't get dirty easily. A virtue I've come to value recently. Oh, what have you been and up to? And you, Ganyu? They kind of balance each other out, it seems. I favor I blue hope they and become black. Good and friends. the material is sufficiently comfortable. Yes? Yes, very. I simply cannot thank you enough, Cloud Retainer, for this gift. That's very and generous. The kite, too. Thank you, Master. One is content as long as you are pleased Aww, with Oh, they gift. match her. One hopes these garments will see much use. Seems like your supreme cuisine machine is just getting better. Oh, does she have like a machine that she's designed to cook food? That's hilarious. This golden crab Priorities, I respect them. Good. The shell's deliciously crunchy, and the meat inside is so succulent and sweet. <laughs> Paimon can't stop eating. Paimon, you're making me hungry. Also, you're making the face on the uh, on the app for <laughs> Genshin Impact. It's a good thing Ga Ming isn't here, or Paimon would have to duel him for the food. You know, with chopsticks. It would be a close match. He traveled all this way on account of the kite-making workshop, and he spent the whole afternoon looking after Shu Yu. One was hoping to treat him to a meal. Maybe next time. <sighs> oh, well. One will just have to extend one's thanks in person. Oh, are you going to the competition? It's rare for someone to make such a good impression on you, Cloud Retainer. Huh. One has high standards. And Gaming certainly meets them all. He appears to be He's a very young man of much merit. And one is not the type who would see such potential squandered. 
It appears that he wishes to break free from the kite string that tethers him. Kite string? Huh, what strange metaphors you speak in, Shen He. Ever since you returned from one mean restaurant, your turns of phrase render one at quite the loss. I thought it was rather straightforward. Where do we even begin? Oh, do you know about the conflict between Ga Ming and his dad, Xin Yin? I was about to say, how on earth would you know about that? But then I remembered right there. They're actually kind of close. One has only heard that the two are not on good terms. He ran away from home and hasn't been back since. Oh? Ran away, you say? Shen He was shocked. Oh. Huh. One believes we would all benefit from a more thorough retelling. Start from the beginning. <laughs> oh, we're getting everyone involved now. This'll be fun. Oh, okay. Paimon just hopes he won't mind. Telling Paimon is like telling the world. She will spill any beans everywhere. What? So we explain everything. This shall not do. Lantern right fast approaches. We must make haste. As now we well have an adeptus on the case. This will be fun. Liyue, one could not help but be reminded of Minogius. Who now? He possessed a singular talent for clothing design. He had an exquisite eye, not just for fabric selection and color pairing, but also for what accessories could best accentuate a garment's overall styling. Sounds quite talented. At a gathering of adepti, Bonanus once complained in secret to some of the ladies in attendance that the skirt Minogius made for her was too long and impractical, lamenting that it would only hinder her in battle. Another Adeptus, right. However, Adepti. when one wow. asked Minogius' opinion, he remarked that the train of the skirt would serve to enhance her adeptal countenance by exemplifying a certain elegance. Minogius was that type of person. When it came to topics relating to garments and accessories, not even Rex Lapis could best his stubbornness. So how is this connecting back to everything? And later... <laughs> uh, one seems to have strayed off topic. Thank you. One means to say that Lantern Rite should be a day of reunion. Well, now I don't know how that relates back at all. You could explain your thought process more. It is a time to address problems before they turn into regrets. Was there a falling out between the Adepti? Fate is fickle. The cruel reality of this world is that suffering and misfortune can befall any of us without design or reason. If there is a chance for young people to remain insulated from this reality, one should do one's utmost to make it so. That's nice and all, but... I'm just really impressed with her voice actress performance. It's really good. Do you have any ideas, Cloud Retainer? Hmm. Perhaps adeptal arts could be of use. Oh, no, no. Mechanics, perhaps. Hmm. One fails to see its use in a situation such as this. She's out of her comfort zone, too. Is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. Combining our efforts is a fine idea indeed. Aha! One has an idea! Here we go. How about this? Ooh, Does let's that go. make sense to everyone? Yes. Yep. Whatever it is. Oh, Paimon really hopes this works. Let's do it. Hmm. One's designs never fail. Now Exciting. then, I counsel rest for all, and to make the necessary preparations. One shall see you in two days. This will be fun. I hope Gaming takes it well and doesn't get mad at us for kind of, you know, stepping in. He seems like a good guy. I'm sure he'll appreciate the support. One just hopes it's, uh goes well. Okay. I thought it said I was supposed to offer some soup. And then it said wait two days. What is the truth? Oh, it's over here. No, it's not that. Not that. No, no. Ooh. Oh no. Okay, this, this one. That one's next. Oh, goodness. So many timed quests all of a sudden. An Adeptus summons. To see Cloud Retainer. Oh, I wonder if this was supposed to activate because I came back to Mount Outsung after the main quest before I saw Cloud Retainer again. But Cloud Retainer's around because she's just around now as a character. Whoops. Anyhow. Where are we going? Um, Back to Liyue. Yes. So... Hmm, I can't teleport there, so we'll teleport here. Ooh. 
My headphones just got quite angry with me for some reason. All right. Do I have anything new to collect here? Why are you talking to me like this? Oh! So it is four part. Excellent. Okay. That just means I'm trying to do three parts today alone. Oh dear. I'm going to leave it as nighttime because I think it looks really lovely. And then I will change it to eight o'clock. Oh, let's be taller. Making our way downtown, as they say. I'm going to have to put it on my mental to-do list to just visit every city once I'm done and get all the world quests out of them. Every city and every village, even. I'm sure there will be a lot in both places. Oh, I almost died. <laughs> because I forgot about the stamina cost and I just jumped right into the water without thinking about it. Luckily, I had stamina. Oh, I killed a fish. Please. Okay. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> that one's curious down What's there. The hurry? Um, am I going the right way, even? I have to wait till the important- Oh! Ah, children, oh. come, come! <laughs> You've arrived at just the right moment. I've been looking for you. I think I ran into the teapot quest. What is it, Granny? Need any help? Oh, no, no. You've done so much for Leo Harbor already. I could hardly ask for more. In fact, my old friends and I have been putting our heads together to think of what sort of gift we might give you in return. A gift? For Paimon? Sorry, I cut her off. Um, I only did as I should, and you're too kind. You're too kind. <laughs> oh, child. You are so very modest. Uncommonly so, even. But you mustn't decline this gift. I simply won't allow it. Okay. When you traversed my old teapot in search of the cleansing bell, I heard your little friend mention that you often camp out in the wilds. Yes. <laughs> That simply Evidently. won't do, especially since I imagine you still have a very long journey ahead of you. Fortunately, Probably. I have not yet grown so old as to see my subspace creation abilities oh. atrophy. What? She's totally an adeptus, right? What subspace creation? Oh, Excuse me? did my friends never mention that to you? Well then... It is a blessing we old folks once received from Rex Lapis. Part of our illumination, if you will. Um, excuse me? Excuse me? You received that from Rex Lapis, you said? I... What? What? Okay. Rex Lapis. God of contracts. Lord of Geo, right? You know, he's the god of the earth and of, like, money and contracts and all that jazz. And he has the ability to gift the rights of subspace creation? What? How does that mesh at all? Oh my goodness, what? Huh? Because subspace creation, like, at this moment, all I really associate with space is Paimon. Because Paimon is highly suspicious and highly sparkly. And now Rex Lapis is coming along saying, Oh, you want to create a pocket dimension? No problem. We can absolutely do that. Why can you do that, exactly? And he's just giving it to mortals as well. Potentially mortal. She might have been adeptus. Who knows? But she's an old folk, which means she's grown, which means she's not immortal. Jungli, come back. I have more questions. I will not go into too much detail, but subspace creation is the ability to create a small, autonomous pocket world. Okay, okay. It's not even a like a pocket dimension, it's a pocket world, specifically. That feels significant. What also feels significant is that we are panning around to look at the world around us, as she says, a small, autonomous pocket world. I mean, uh -huh. is this- are we, like, about to discover that these pocket worlds can exist because we're already in a pocket world and our pocket world is in another world that's a pocket world to another world and that's a pocket- like, how far does this rabbit hole go? Go? How do you know if the world's a pocket or not? Oh my god. I want to like, hmm. 
<laughs> I just thought to myself, I want to prove that in the game that this world is a simulation. And then I realized that this that that world is a simulation. It's it's Genshin Impact. It's a game. Oh no, I'm having an existential crisis for a world I'm not even actually in. Oh, this is a very strange feeling. The teapot that you entered previously was a little trinket created using that ability. A trinket, you say? So casual about it. So, in the eyes of an adeptus, creating a magic teapot world is just child's play, huh? Paimon, your expression pretty accurately reflects mine right now. <laughs> uh. oh, indeed, the teapot is nothing to boast of. No? One such as myself must depart from this realm to create a world of one's own. Rex Lapis, on the other hand, moved mountains and seas. That is what one might call an exercise of true power. So is this whole world Zhongli's pocket dimension? Uh, what? What? Uh, I mean... I want to say that I doubt it, but on the other hand, we know that he is hiding something specific from us because he's not allowed to talk about it. That seems like a pretty significant secret to want to have held for whatever reason. What is going on? Uh, but that's enough nostalgia for now. The gift that I have prepared for you just requires a few final materials to add the finishing touch. What are the missing materials? That's right! Finding stuff's what we're good at, after all. Oh, settle down now, children. There's no need for you to go running hither and thither. I have already found a fleet-footed youngster to prepare what I need. I was going to say, is it coming? But I think this is a very old quest that we've stumbled into. Hither and thither? I always thought it was thither. It's thither? What's more? Really? I... Doubt that you would know how to find the materials I am searching for. Some of them are very rare indeed these days. And what are those, if I might ask? Well, for starters, I require some shimmer soil from the banks of Dihua Marsh. Back in the day, it could only be found where the glazed lilies thrived most profusely. You would have to dig downward, following the roots of the glazed lilies. And, if you were lucky enough, you just might find a small patch of shimmer soil there. But almost no one has been able to find shimmer soil in this manner since Dihua Marsh came to be the way it is today. Even more difficult to find is Smaragdus Jadeite, which must be chiseled from the rock of the chasm. Or... So it used to be. Ever since the Black Cliff Forge opened for business, they've slowly but surely stripped the mines all but completely bare of it. So again, with this quest, and also the, uh, the timed quest that we're doing right now, the carp one, we keep seeing these themes of, at least in Liyue, the old gods and the old power and the old, you know, the Adepti and these powerful materials disappearing from the world. It's not even that they're disappearing now, it's that they disappeared ages ago, and the world just kind of needs to adjust around that. It's an interesting theme to have established so strongly, especially because we didn't really get any themes of this magnitude in Mondstadt. I have a lot of thoughts on that, but I'll go into it at another time. In any case, Smaragdus Jadeite is an adept eye treasure, and the adeptal power within is not something that most humans can withstand. Extended contact with it is, in fact, harmful to humans. Is she going to ask Ganyu to collect it all? Ah, <sighs> goodness knows if that child will succeed oh, in finding these items. Who's this child? Well, since you're an adeptus, Granny, what? the person you asked for help... She's an adeptus? They now? must be an adeptus too, right? Okay, okay, if you say so. Hmm. Yes, I suppose she does count as an adeptus. Yeah, because Ganyu's half adeptal. She if I recall. Counts? How come there are so many adepti in Liyue Harbor? We seem to bump into them all the time. It feels like even when you go out to eat, you could be sitting next to an adeptus and never even know it. That did happen. That did happen because we sat next to Zhongli at least twice at meals. And he's an adeptus too, right? He counts. Oh, <laughs> maybe so. Who can say? 
A fair few of my old friends are rather fond of mundane mortal life, after all. I'm back, Granny. Oh, hello. Oh, I don't believe we've met. Ah, allow me to do the honors. This child here is Yen Fei. She's the one helping run some errands for me. Oh. Yen Fei, I believe you've already heard of the Traveler and her traveling oh. companion. Oh, I recognize this character. This is one of the ones we could have invited. Of course, who hasn't? Much has been written about you in the Millilith's records. You became oh, one of Millilith. Millilith's most wanted after the Millilith marked you as a suspect following the incident at the Rite of Dissension. After which, you fought off the Millilith at Julian Karst and made contact with the Fatui. Wow, you really have been following us beat for beat, Before huh? Before finally defeating an ancient god together with Granny and her associates, and subsequently being cleared of any and all suspicion by the Chising. <sighs> what a shame. A shame? A shame that we didn't meet sooner. Okay. If we had, well, I can't say that I would have been able to clear you of suspicion immediately, but it certainly would have been less, uh, embarrassing for you. Embarrassing for me? I did nothing wrong in all this. Certainly it was more embarrassing for you. Allow me to introduce myself once more. I'm Yenfei, a legal advisor. Got huh. a legal problem? You can come right to me. Oh, she's a lawyer. Oh, yes. Here's my business card. You'll find it has my contact details and office address. Keep it handy. Is she part fish or something? I'm seeing scales on her If you have hand. an urgent issue, just leave me a note at this address. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, I offer a very generous discount for first-time customers. I'm sure we'll use your services in the next realm, because in every realm so far, I've gotten wanted or suspected of something and, like, warrant out for my arrest, and we're going into a closed country next, so... Uh, we'll be in touch, I'm sure. All right, Yenfei, all right. Let's get to the business at hand. I do not think these two are in any dire need of legal assistance at the moment. That we know of. You'll have to excuse Yanfei. She's always been like this. Ever the talkative one when it comes to her own affairs. Are you really an adeptus? Haima was gonna ask the same question. Oh, you we're seem asking really Yanfei. different from the ones we've met before. I thought we were asking the grandmother. An adeptus? Uh, I guess. Kinda. My old man said he was one anyway. Oh, and then he died? He mentioned that he once campaigned with Rex Lapis for a long old time, and then after that was all over, he went back and married my mom. They had me, and once I was all grown up, the two of them upped and left on a journey, leaving me with Granny here. Um, okay. Well, that's a bit casual for an adeptus. Aren't you guys supposed to sign solemn contracts to protect Leo at Harbor and all that stuff? What do you mean he just went back to get married? Well, I mean, marriage is a contract. My dad did say that he'd talked it through with Rex Lapis and that he was fine with it. Even contributed towards the wedding gift, apparently. I love that, actually. Anyway. That's amazing. Let's not dwell on that too much. So, Granny, I've gotten a hold of most of the stuff you asked for, except for Smaragdus Jadeite. I couldn't find any at all. Is that so? Hmm. But Smaragdus Jadeite is really rather essential. Yenfei, are you sure you can't find some other way? They have helped Liyue greatly, after all. It is only right that they are duly rewarded. I know, Granny, you've told me a thousand times already. Well, the chasm's definitely a no-go, but there's still a chance we can figure out some alternative means of procurement. Ooh, that sounds a little suspicious. Hmm. Hold on a moment. What? Let me have a look. Where did that come from? Whoa! It's a really thick book. What kind of things do you write in there? Everything, apparently. Commercial consultancy. Or, or, Snezhnaya. Ah, it's a child him. again. Krussel. Oh, okay. A Snezhnaya merchant who once came to me with some legal queries on certain articles in the legal codices. If my memory serves, all of them had to do with rare ores. Intriguing. He mentioned that he was considering acquiring some Smaragdus Jadeite to make hairpins, and wanted to know if there were oh. any legal ramifications that he should be aware of. Said he was planning to sell them in Snezhnaya. Using this super rare material to make hairpins. So, I guess I'll go look for him. With any luck, he'll have gotten his hands on some Smaragdus Jadeite, or might have an idea of where we can find some. Well, okay, I don't know if it's really useful for anything else, except for apparently making teapots, but you need to be an adeptus to do that. Um... We'll come with you, I guess. Oh, you want to join me? 
I suppose that's no problem, but it's best if you just stand by and watch. If you try to get involved, you'll only risk placing yourself in legal jeopardy. Wow. Why? What are you planning to do? Imploring us to avoid incurring legal liability. Well, that's a first for sure. <laughs> best we be a little more careful than usual while we're with her. Okay. Great. I'm not magically whisked away to continue that. I just wanted the flowers. I came close to get the flowers. And then I was trapped in a cutscene. And I was worried because I have to wait until two days later. And what if it rolls over to two days wait later while I'm in that cutscene and then goes all the way through? I should speak with Madame Ping. Some people find Yen Fei to be rather demanding. Do try to be gracious with her. Okay. All right, so next it is, I'm going to change the time and just move us on over to two days later, eight to 12. So I'm gonna do that next, but I think we've been playing for kind of a while now. So I'll stop here and we'll pick up there next time. Thank you for watching everyone. Have a good one.